what we had was, a, was a, just a group of very hardworking, um, you know, versatile people who could do all sorts of different jobs, and they were, you know, infused with this, this culture of listening and, you know, action and sort of whatever it takes sort of attitude that was sort of the roots of the, of the company. Uh, we, we do have, you know, some, some of the folks that we hired very early on that have gone on to, you know, great important positions. I mean, one of the, one of the guys we hired uh, a couple of years after starting is, is still on my executive team. Actually, he, he wasn't on my executive team when we hired him. He was, he was you know, uh, do, doing a, a, a fairly basic job, but then grew throughout the company, and now he's a, you know, senior vice president and responsible for a very, very large part of the company. But, um, you know, there, there's another form of the Peter principle, which is that the job grows faster than the person. Yeah. And that's something you often experience in a company like ours. So let's say you're the, the vice president of whatever, okay? Well, at $3 billion, that's a certain kind of a job. At $30 billion, it's a completely different job. At $60 billion, it's yet again a completely different job. So, um, you know, the, 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 there's an interesting story. We have a guy who, who's retired now, but he, he joined our company in 19... 87 as the chief financial officer and he was a great chief financial officer uh, by 1991 92 the company had grown you know 10 times or something like that and he was really having a hard time being chief financial officer so he actually th this this was actually a really smart guy because he was he was selfless and could objectively assess what he was really capable of doing at that moment in time. Uh, and he became our treasurer. Okay. Okay? And he did a fantastic job as our treasurer. <laughs> and uh, another five or seven or eight years went by, and uh, the treasury job became even too, too, too big of a job. So then he became uh, head of investor relations, and he was fantastic. And it, it, I, I tell the story because this particular gentleman made enormous sums of money right. because he stayed with the company through, uh, you know, a great period of growth. Whereas, you know, if he had, if he had taken that sort of first challenge and said, well, if I can't be CFO, I'm out of here. Uh, you know, he would have made the worst mistake of his life in terms of, of, of you know, financially, if, if, that, if that was important to you. Um, and he could have been you know, CFO at lots of, lots of other companies, but, but uh, he, he stayed with the company and the company stayed with him. And it, it worked out. But it's kind of a rare, it's kind of a rare, yeah. it, you know, I, I've, seen, I've seen many people not react that way and uh, probably regret it.